Okay, this video shows you the essentials of LMMS open source free music mix program. Here's the starting screen. So the big screen is, uh, say, the project screen for the whole song. Yeah, and then here you've got the yeah the instruments uh, separated with the uh, automation track but i won't uh, go into that it's just the essentials of how to start a project and play a little tune on your keyboard so you can uh, start immediately and you can uh, use another instrument with that same block you played so for instance you can a, a standard uh, triple oscillator instrument you can use it's a built-in it's the starting screen I'll uh, show a little like this you click on the right uh, left click on the block here and then it will uh, activate a uh, double click it will activate a piano roll and then you can press it with your mouse but you can also use your keyboard like this I'm pressing E now R T Y U I O P so you can play a little tune with that and you can record it and when you want to record it you use this one with a circle and the, the play uh, button yeah so uh, you press that and then you so you play that and then you stop it now you can um, choose uh, one of these blocks to play the green uh, thing if you put this shut this down it will and then normally it will play between the lines like that that's how it works so this is then uh, if you click on this this activates it and activates the piano roll here yeah so this is the whole song this is the uh, say one of the instruments now and to uh, add a new instrument you can deactivate this you won't hear it anymore and you for instance take a, a say a flute or a, a trumpet so you can use this and then uh, click it and drag it to the the song mixer and then if you click this one you can have a new piano roll and then you can also play something so you press the record button okay then you can stop it and then you see this is uh, too much to the right so you can uh, click your right mouse button and it will um, increase the green uh, line but if you deactivate it it will play on for for forever so as soon as you click stop it will uh, go back to the beginning if you activate this button uh, you can also press shift right click on that and it will decrease this line but if you right click again with your mouse at the beginning it will shift the line here uh, what you can do is press uh, control and uh, drag a line so you can select these and then if you hover over them they will change into a or a cross like that or a little button like that so you can increase the 
length or decrease the length of the notes yeah but if it changes into a cross like that you can drag it to the left so it will fit in between these two lines and then if you click on it again with the control button pressed in you can deactivate your selection and so this is So this is a, a tune you can play and then you can uh, increase your thing and then you can one note at a time you can lengthen it and you can so it changes or in a button like that or into a cross like that and then you can drag it to the left. So, and then you can uh, use your mouse button if you hover over this to increase or decrease the size, the uh, zoom size. This is now 100. Say play. Like that. Then you close the window and you've got this and then you can deactivate all these and if you say the whole song is only this instrument you can play it and then it's, it keeps playing because this button is not activated and you must uh, lengthen this green with clicking right right clicking on this uh, top row okay these are the essentials so you must uh, you can click and drag another instrument into it you see the hear the sound and then you click and drag and drop so and then you can change uh, you can even um, if you hover over this one and you click your control and you start moving it you can copy it to another another track or another instrument and then you can play the whole song and then you can lower this volume higher this volume for instance or you can Uh, deactivate it and then if you have a uh, you want to edit you want to edit the instrument itself you double click with that and it opens a new screen with all the sounds of the instrument itself and then you can uh, edit here and you can add just for the instrument you can add effects yeah and you can use uh, all kinds of stuff like uh, uh, that it plays an octave like this so it increases the amount of So it's like playing a chord now and if you increase the range to one or two or three or four. So you get a whole range of instruments so then you can uh, use this appraggio. This is about the essentials, so I hope you have enough information to uh, work with. Thank you very much.